So we're, we're standing in the middle of Burana Conservancy and a big part of our philosophy on the Conservancy is to be as energy efficient as possible with power, use of natural resources. So behind me what you're looking at is a 270 panel solar farm which delivers power, 74 kilowatts of power to two lodges, one either side of this hill. And the lodges are Burana um, and Lengishu. And through this uh, uh, solar farm, which we installed and built and commissioned in 2018, designed by a Kenyan company, CAT. Uh, obviously, a lot of the panels come from different parts of the world, but the panels, I think, are from China. The batteries come from Greece, the inverters. I'll talk you through all of this. Uh, but we're using now down to 5% five, 5 or less of fossil fuels in a good month we have no generator running time at all. Okay, so this is where the power comes and charges the batteries. And it comes through these two um, charge controllers and flows straight into the batteries. And then at night, um, so these are the three, uh, the three phases we have. There's two uh, there's two inverters for each phase. One is a master, one is a slave. Um, so that's phase one, phase two, phase three. And at night there's a seamless transition and the power continues, but it's now running off batteries that have been charged during the day. Uh, we, should be able to, um, we should be able to see here that currently it's, what are we, it's about 12 o'clock and the batteries are already at 88%. So, by this evening, those batteries will be at 100%. We'll run them. I'll show you the batteries in a minute, but we don't let them go below 75% capacity. If you do that, this system will, you'll get good life out of the batteries and it'll last for a long time. So in here is our um, battery station and also the standby generator. And um, so during the day, these are being charged up, as I explained, they get to 100%, hopefully and at night you deplete the energy and you take them down to not more than 65, 70%, I think is the setting. And of course we have a standby generator which is 100 kilowatts and if that needs to, uh, to run, it'll run automatically when these batteries get to a certain level. I'm not sure if everyone is aware, but Kenya, my understanding is number one in Africa for sustainable energy and it's number five in the world. So we, as a country, are very advanced in adopting these technologies. And whilst it's expensive, this 74 kilowatt system is a 25 million shilling investment. It will pay for itself over five years. We used to run generators 24 hours a day. And, you know, they're using um, uh, up to 20 liters of fuel an hour. Uh, you can really burn through the fuel. But then you've got to service them. And then also it's not clean because you've got to de deal with oil, oil filters, replacements, um, the pollution that comes from the exhaust. This is 100% clean and it's totally silent. So it really doesn't get any better. Uh, you, you, can, you just, you're strategic. When you go and buy a new fridge or freezer or cooker, you look at its eco rating. And if it's got a good eco rating and it's not using very many kilowatts of power, then you buy it and you avoid the ones that are heavy on usage. And actually, you know, if everybody around the world and in Kenya did that in their homes, power consumption would come down and um, we would, um, it would be much better for our planet and our country.